All right, guys, today we're going to learn about radioactivity and the four basic types of radioactivity that we'll get into in this class. Radioactivity is defined as a process that occurs when a nucleus decays. Again, it's the process that occurs when a nucleus decays. And so that is the protons and neutrons in that center of the atom. We've been focused on the electrons and bonding. Now we're back to the nucleus. So when the protons and neutrons become unstable, they're heavy in the center of that atom, and the, and the nucleus breaks down, and the atom starts to decay. When that occurs, we no longer have the same um, element sometimes. All right, Remember, the number of protons determines what element it is. And so if that number changes, we no longer have that element anymore. So it's going to be a little bit different world than what we've walked into before. There are four basic types that we want to go into. Uh, the first one is alpha. Alpha decay. Alpha. And we'll write up here the four types of radioactive decay. Four types of radioactive decay. First one we have is alpha. And alpha is the weakest type. It's stopped by as much as a piece of paper. The weakest. Stopped by paper. Um, it has a plus two charge. It ionizes as a plus two charge. And it's used in smoke detectors. Used in smoke detectors. And its symbol is actually represented by helium 42HE. All right, and this two will be the number of protons, and this four is the number of protons and neutrons together. So this would have two protons and two neutrons, this would be the mass and almost the atomic number, the number of protons. So we're releasing that. That is going to decay off of our substance. All right. The second type is beta. Beta decay. And beta is a high energy electron. Beta is a high energy electron being released. It has a minus one charge, also ionizes. It's a minus one charge. And it's used in radioactive tracers. Used in radioactive tracers. And for this, we use the symbol zero, negative one E. Now, we will do computations with both alpha and beta today um, and on your next test. So alpha and beta, we have symbols that are mathematical that we'll use in computations. The third type uh, is what we're gonna call gamma. It's gamma radiation. And gamma is an electromagnetic ray. Electromagnetic ray. We don't get into electromagnetic spectrum in this class um, anymore. We used to. That's been taken out now. We may mention it briefly in physics, but basically that is um, that is going to be the very top of the electromagnetic spectrum. This is a high energy wave, and it's going to be very strong. Um, this is does not require a medium. Does not require a medium. And what and what that basically means is is that it doesn't have to have a matter to go through. We can travel through space, for instance. It doesn't have to have air or some other substance to travel through. It can go through a vacuum, all right? Electromagnetic ray does not require a medium. That should be reviewed for most of you from middle school, but the idea that sunlight travels from the sun to earth through the vacuum of space means that, that light waves, that electromagnetic waves, do not require a medium. And that's the same here for gamma rays. <clears throat> um, it's used in cancer treatment. And this is the stronger of kind of what we would normally talk about using cancer treatment. And stopped by lead. 
of lead. Now, this can cause cancer and can treat cancer because what happens, I don't want to spend too much time on but what happens is basically this will, this will mutate cells. Now, mutated cells usually die, and so what we hope is that if we, if we radiate cancer, that we can kill those cancer cells and they'll no longer reproduce uncontrollable cancer is the uncontrollable reproduction of cells. And so we want to stop that uh, by using this. Now, what can happen is that gamma radiation when we use to treat cancer can actually cause cancer as well. And we hope that that doesn't happen as a side effect, but it's worth the risk at times. All right, so that's why you see if you go into a, a cancer ward, um, you'll see radiation signs, you'll see um, nuclear signs on the wall, all right, enter with risk or certain things. Um, you'll see the doctors stand behind lead walls for certain things, and that's because they're protecting themselves from this. While this is a cancer treatment, it can also be a risk of cancer in mutating cells because it's that strong. All right, so we have gamma radiation. And the last one is neutron emission. And we won't spend much time on neutron emission. And this is not, um, this is not in your textbook at all. And so this will just be on the board here in the notes briefly. High energy neutron released. High energy neutron. High energy neutron released. Um, and that is, this is the strongest type. This is the strongest type of radiation that we'll get it into. All right. So those are the four types of basic, just uh, broad brush definition of each of those. Now, we need some, some basic calculations for alpha and beta here. And we're going to use these symbols, 4, 2, H, E, and 0, Negative one e. All right. Now I'm going to do a couple of sample problems, and these are pulled directly off your worksheet, which you guys should be getting today. All right. So I'm going to do the first two problems. One is uh, one is going to be uh, the alpha example at the very top of the page, and then I'm going to do the beta example on the second line. Um, the right side of the page is half-lives. We'll get to those when I get back um, from Philadelphia. But we're going to go over those first two examples. I'm going to give you time to work on the rest of this page. All right, so the first one's 144.60. 144.60. And yields 42HE. 42HE plus blank. Now, sometimes you guys will see these written with variables. Uh, you'll see this x, x, x. That's the same thing. It's just variables like in math class. We want to fill in the x's. All right? So uh, and then sometimes you'll just see a blank and you'll have to fill in all three. It doesn't matter on this particular worksheet. I just left it blank and you got to figure it out. All right? All this is an addition problem. This is not complex math. This is not... So geometry, this is not uh, anything like that. It's just simple addition and subtraction. Treat the yield, the arrow, like an equal sign. So 144 equals 4 plus x. 4 plus what? So all I'm going to do here is subtract. And I get 140. And over here I have 60 minus 2 is 58. 60 minus 2 is 58. And so that is, that is going to be my... Uh, my atomic mass, and this is going to be my atomic number, my number of protons. Again, this is the atomic number or protons, and this is going to be the atomic mass or protons plus neutrons. All right, and so when we do this problem, we have 144 minus 4 is 140, 60 minus 2 is 58. Now, as always, the atomic number is the identity of our element. And so when we release, we release this alpha particle, uh, we come down, we now have 58 uh, protons. And what you do is get your periodic table, go to element 58, 
All right, look up the element, which is cesium CE. All right, and so uh, we're now able to figure out what element is going to be left standing. What element is going to be left standing uh, after after that decay? Sorry, that's cerium, not cesium. Uh, so cerium is released. Uh, is let out with an alpha particle after that. All right. Now we go and do the second example. Uh, the second example is two hundred nine eighty three. Two hundred nine eighty three. Two hundred nine eighty three. Uh, and we are going to be using. Uh, bismuth for that, 2983 bismuth, BI. All right. And we're going to be releasing 0, negative 1 E uh, beta particle. And again, we have a blank. Now, what I want you to understand here is we are going to be subtracting a negative. All right. So 209 minus 0. Again, treat the arrow like an equal sign. This is 209. So I have 83 minus negative 1 is actually going to give me element number 84 uh, as my product of this reaction, which is polonium. We look it up on your table. 84 is polonium. 83 minus negative 1 is 84 is polonium. Again, all we're doing is subtracting. These are this is alpha decay, this is beta decay. We're just subtracting, treating, treating the arrow like an equal sign and doing a subtraction problem with variables, all right? So those are the first two problems on your worksheet. I want you to go down the page, all right? Uh, you have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 15 problems. I've done the first two for you. So you're gonna do the other 13 problems on your own. If you need to help each other, help each other out. All right, and then the last uh, 10 minutes or so of class, we'll put them up on the board uh, and go over them, all right?